Dwayne, I'm pregnant. Before I became a Christian, I was a player. And out of all the women I dated, there was one that I was really into. Look, I know it sounds strange, but her name was Keisha. And me and Keisha dated for about six months. And then one day she called me up and she was like, Dwayne, I'm pregnant. And when she said that to me, y'all, I was so excited because here I am at the age of 22, about to be your father. But then she said this, but you know what, Dwayne? I'm thinking about having an abortion. And I'm like, why? She said, because I already have a daughter who is four years old and her father is in prison. So I don't want to take that chance of raising two kids all by myself. So I kind of got quiet and I thought about it. And I was like, you know what, let's do this. You have the baby, and when the baby is born, sign up with full custody to me, and I'll raise the child all by myself. And she was like, you ain't gonna do that. And so we kind of fussed about it and argued about it, and we hung up the phone. And for some odd reason, I didn't hear from her for about two weeks. And then my phone rung again. I'm like, hello? She was like, Dwayne, this is Keisha. I'm like, I know. And she was like, I did it. I'm like, you did what? She said, I had the abortion. This video is sponsored by me. I am Dwayne Smithers, a youth motivational speaker. I speak to high school students and middle school students about bullying, mental health, and entrepreneurship. So if you are interested in bringing me to your school, your church, or your youth event, visit my website, dspoet.com. Also, I wrote a new book entitled Flossom, and in this book, I teach people just like yourself how to become awesome despite your flaws. So also, if you want to order a copy of my book, visit my website, dspoet.com. Shameless plug. Back to the video. And in that moment, y'all, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to say. And things between me and her on the phone got completely silent. So I hung up, and after that, I never talked to her anymore. And I'm like, you mean to tell me, out of everything I've been through in my life up until this point, now I gotta deal with the pain of this abortion. I gotta deal with the murder of my daughter. And I felt like in that moment that she robbed me of being a father. So much so, y'all, that I ain't talk about it with nobody. Matter of fact, I ain't talk about it for 12 years. Why is that? Because I buried it deep inside of my heart. It wasn't until I met my best friend, Father Norman Fisher, God rest his soul, that I began to share my story with him. And he was like, Dwayne, you gotta tell people about this, man, you gotta write about this. So guess what I did? I began to write about it. Check it out. The Christ I serve is a healer and a forgiver, even for killers. To him, our sin is the same. None different. So in the words of Pac, this be the realest I ever wrote. I like an abortion to slave masters of old that hung my ancestors with ropes. Legs dangling, collapsed lungs, can't breathe, neck broke, no joke, blood spilled. There's a reason why God said thou should not kill. I'm just keeping it real. I'm no stranger to this martyr. At 22, my girlfriend pregnant, but went behind my back and slaughtered my daughter. Ride me from being a father. That's why I come harder and put my heart in my rhymes. So you can feel my transparency like the sun when it shines. Once the baby is dead in the womb, no rewinds or replays. No resurrection like Christ on the third day. A third of our generation that's been bombed away. I am so glad. I am so happy that my friend was able to inspire me to write about it and share my story, especially with other men. So if you are a man and you've been through an abortion before, do me a favor, either reach out to me or drop a comment in the comment section below. Once again, thank you for watching the video. Catch you in the next one. Peace.